Andy, seven years ago, you posed the question, are droids taking our jobs? Yep. Luckily, I'm still employed, yep. but is that the case? No, the droids are not taking our jobs. But what they are doing is changing our jobs and changing work in a pretty profound way. Our economy is growing. Every month that our economy grows, the number of jobs grows and the number of hours worked grows. So there's no evidence yet that we've learned how to grow an economy while needing fewer people, fewer hours of work. Day in and day out, we hear automation and the new economy and droids and robots are going to put me out of business. Yeah, and they are going to put some people and some jobs out of business. What we tend to underestimate is the creative part of creative destruction. The, all the automation, all the technology, it also creates new opportunities. Social media consultant was not a job 10 years ago. Now there's a lot of demand for it. The, the challenge is that we used to have a ton of good old-fashioned middle-class jobs right in the middle that gave you a good income and benefits and your family would do better over time. That's where the challenges are. That's where the hollowing out is happening. And our job creation engine is kind of kicked into a lower gear. That's okay. our problem. But then if I had one of those good old-fashioned yep. middle American jobs, I can't even get my head around being a social media consultant. Absolutely not. And, and the, the prescription is not, oh, all of the factory assembly line workers should go be social media consultants. That's ridiculous. We have a real challenge in that the hollowing out of the middle class has not yet been replaced by kind of middle class 2.0. That should be our real homework going forward, not trying to demonize the automation and the technology. But isn't it a stretch to say I spent my whole life doing a factory job and maybe my father did that job and my mother did that job but now I'm going to be an entrepreneur. Isn't that kind of a stretch? No, it's a huge stretch and that should not be the message. The message is not go out and start your own crazy startup. The message is look we're going to try to create an environment that w where there is job growth, where there is some innovation, something to do in your community. Hopefully you can f take advantage of the opportunities, acquire some new skills and jump on board that new bandwagon. I realize that sounds a little idealistic. We are not seeing enough of it yet, but th that should be our kind of our, our homework as a society for the next generation. Is that your homework and your goal here to solve for that? Because I think about places like San Francisco where that's happening and now tons of people can't even afford to live there. Absolutely. And there's loads of places in this country that have been hollowed out where that hasn't come and it might not come anywhere near the future. That's exactly right. So the reason I come here is to try to put out this, this message of mindful optimism. We are creating a bigger and better and more prosperous world. The way we share that prosperity is changing and there are some real challenges there. So instead of being a Pollyanna, I try to be mindful and to give it exactly this message that we're growing the pie, but the middle class's share of that pie is shrinking. That is an actual problem. Let's dive in on that. Then come to my kitchen table yep. and I'm worried, I'm scared, I'm worried that automation is going to take my job or I'm not making any more money. How do you bring that mindful optimism into my life? That, that is a really, really tough challenge because don't worry, something good is, come is going to come along is kind of an empty message. There are these two kind of narratives about America, right? One is the wagon train heading west, we're all in this together, kind of a collectivist narrative. The other one is the rugged individualist, I'm out for myself, you look out for yourself narrative. Since about... Okay, but you know who's left out? the person in the middle I can, I because the hardest place to be right now is, is to have an open mind in the middle nobody likes that guy no and we're trying to shut down people's minds in different ways but i think the individual narrative has succeeded too much i don't want to walk away from that totally we've gone too far in that direction if we create the right environment I'm, I'm, it's way too early to throw in the towel and say that, well, we had that good run of middle class job creation, but that's in the rear view mirror. I'm not ready to say that yet. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.